hello boys and girls ladies and gentlemen welcome to my channel today we're going to be developing this flutter voice recording app uh, the recording app looks something like this if you press on click record uh, this is the new recording one two three and you press it the new recording appears over here and if you go and click and click on play button press on click record uh, this is the new recording one two three okay uh, I'm not going to be wasting your time that much uh, if you want to go check out the source code directly then the link will be down in the description uh, and if you uh, want to uh, see me explain how I built it then please could, uh, keep watching this video and if you are leaving right now then please give it a subscribe to my channel I'll be posting such videos on my channel so let's begin <music> Before uh, starting, uh, you need to uh, get three dependency: audio player, Flutter audio recorder, and path pro provider in your PulsePack YAML, YAML file. And then uh, consider going to the port file of iOS and give it a platform version. Uh, I have set to the minimum version of iPhone iOS 12. And into the info p list of the runner file, give it a microphone permission request. And also do the same for the Android. Onto the uh, Android manifest of the source main. Give it a permission then if you check our main application uh, i haven't changed much it will only call the recording home view if you go and check the recording home view it's a symbol uh, widget that takes uh, that has a ch uh, child called column that has a two children one is recorder view another is record recorder view recorder view is the uh, widget that is responsible for showing the record button it is a stateful widget that checks on the state of the recording as you can see over here, I have used enum for this. And if you see on the recording uh, recorder view state, these are the four properties that will be changing. Under the init state, I have set uh, asked for the recording permission. If the recording permission is set, then I will change the properties file. So, if you go into the build function, it is a stack which has a children of raise button and a align but uh, a text uh, text widget. So a uh, raise button will call the record on press, uh, which will call uh, set state after the completion. It's a container of 150 height and width, an icon which is uh, driven from the properties file, and the text is the text for showing whether the recording state like it's recording or not. If we check on the record on button press, it will uh, do a switch case on the recording state. If it's stopped, for example, is, uh, as you so see over here, and if it's still set, then it will start recording. Uh, since both and if it's recording then it will call, call the recording to stop and it will change the state accordingly so if you check on record voice what we do is uh, we again check for the permission and we have to initialize every time the recording uh, recording gonna be started then only we're gonna call the start of recording so if there's no recording permission is given then we will show appropriate message to the user using the snack bar if you check on init uh, recorder then it will first get the application directory from the path provider using the get application di documents directory. After that, it will create a file path which will be under the uh, directory. I have used millisecond instance epoch for creating a new file every time a record button is pressed and also not to overwrite. So if you can see start recording, is uh, there is nothing much to, uh, on it. We can simply call audio recorder to start. It will start the recording and similarly on the stop as well. Okay, <laughs> uh, this is the recording view, recorder button view. If we go back to the home, we can see the recorder list view takes in the list of records. So what is the record? Record is nothing but a list of string. So what are the uh, strings that are actually there? So uh, this list is uh, fetched when the application is first started. As you can see over here, we use application documents directory to fetch the list of files. Using that, if the value is fetched, then we're going to list everything inside it and and add to the list of string once done we're gonna uh, set the record set the records and provide to the recorder record list view so inside the record list view it is uh, responsible for playing the record so it has some properties like total duration of the recorded item that is currently being played current duration of the current progress of the recording so uh, inside the list, uh, I'm showing some detail like uh, first one is title. It only shows the number of recording like new record one 
and before, below that I am showing the recorded date that I fetched from the file path itself. Using the millisecond uh, I can convert it back to the date and on expansion change whenever when, uh, this is the expansion tile whenever you click it the expansion will open and children will be displayed. This children will be displayed. Children is a container with a height of 100 and it has a column and children are linear progress indicator and icon button and linear progress since everything every uh, uh, list item shares this uh, uh, properties so I am using selected index to show the currently recorded player playing the record uh, as per the selected index similarly on the icon button on press of play button I am only ch changing the state of that linear progress ind indicator according to the play button press so if you can check on uh, on play button I am taking in the index index is the item that is currently being tapped or played so if it's not playing I'm not going to do anything. If it's playing, I'm not going to do anything. If it's if it's not playing, then I'm going to start new audio audio play. So as you can see over here, it simply is an audio play function, and you uh, you have to give the file path and is local to set to true, and it will change the selected index to the currently selected item, and uh, completed percentage to set to zero, and it will change the is playing also to true. So I'm using this some uh, stream function that is provided to the audio player like as you can see on completion, on duration change, on duration change gives the total time of the audio player. So on duration change is, is the tot uh, current uh, total time of that audio player. Similarly on audio, on audio position change is the currently progress like if it's been one second after playing then it will help me to show the uh, completed percentage so the completed percentage calculation is quite simple is uh, total divided by currently uh, currently playing divided by the total percentage total total duration of the audio so current I think that's it it's a short video this took me uh, about uh, I don't know 10 hours of work or something uh, if you need further explanation kindly comment down in the description I'll be happy to explain you uh, in detail uh, so if you are new here consider giving a uh, give a subscribe and give me a like button and as always uh, the link to the source code will be down in the description and that's it thank you so much for watching see you guys next time